my studio on the Isle of Wight, which is right in the middle of the Isle of Wight, Arriton. It would be impossible to be here without something like Pro Tools. You know, it's not a, a big soundproof facility with tape machine rooms. It's just, you know, a computer and a big desk and a load of outboard, and it's brilliant. And my first sort of big projects were with Derek B. Um, he had a couple of number ones with Bad Young Brother and a few things. And it wasn't until much later that I ended up writing quite a bit of stuff underneath people's tracks, like Human League and that. It just evolved, really. I really liked the kit, I liked the noises, and then it sort of evolved organically. When I was very young, around about 80, 1980, I got bought SH1, which is the run of the early monophonic uh, Roland keyboard. I had one of these when I was a kid. This is a Jupiter 8, and I bought one of these for about 500 quid in about 92. This one's been midded, so it can be used with the sequencer and stuff. Let's see if I, before we film. So I can remember our big brother guy. <laughs> Pro Tools was the first affordable system, but it wasn't, it wasn't so much that. It was when Pro Tools went to TDM that it became something that I realised was going to be a game changer. And I was the first programmer with a 13-slot TDM system. And it just meant I got all the gigs. I've never looked back, and I've never mixed on anything since, really. My microphone after my synthesizers are my next favourite thing. And I bought this off a guy in the Czech Republic whose granddad was swapped in the war. I think it was the Second World War from an American pilot. It's American RCA mic, quite a famous microphone. Brilliant, sounds amazing on drums. I really love that. This is the old mic that was used on Phil Collins in the air tonight and it's called the Ball and Biscuit. And Jack White has got a track called the Ball and Biscuit named after that mic. I don't consider myself a businessman, even though I work for myself, um, but Pro Tools has made it possible to organise your budgets. It just means that you can totally base your budgets around the time constraints. I don't need to go anywhere to mix, so if there's a real budget restriction, you can even mix it. If you wasn't supposed to mix it, you're just going to track it or produce it. It means you, you can be a one-stop, basically. Pro Tools is playing a real big part in what I'm doing at the moment. For instance, the new film, Rapid Intervention, I'm doing, I had a meeting in London, took my laptop with me, and on the train, I'd written two of the cues on the way home. It's about an hour and a half on the train. Instead of going to Prague to do the orchestra, I'm doing it all in the box. A few plugins, a bit of contact, a bit of the new string libraries. Pro Tools 11 is going to change the industry in quite a big way, I think. It's been rewritten. So for the first time, we're going to have something really fresh. This is completely 64-bit from the ground up. So it's going to make the other systems out there feel really sluggish. I know there's the fast bounce to disc, so if I'm sitting here at the end of mastering a record and the record's an hour long, it's taking me an hour to bounce at the moment. The new one's going to take me, I don't know, two minutes. Someone said to me the other day about the sound quality. I mean, it's got to the point where the sound quality with the new IOs is so high that there isn't anything to compete with it, really. I mean, there's, you know, there's a lot of people out there that still harp on about the old equipment. I'm a big lover of the old equipment, but I think that the, the, the industry's changing, and if you're not changing with it, you're going to be left behind. One of the other big changes that we've seen with Pro Tools has been the ability to use it without expensive hardware. You can now see college students and kids playing with it, and you can see it going onto a laptop and someone sitting in their bedroom and they're the beginning of the new industry, so it's really important that they have full access to all of this, this technology. I'm very excited by what I'm able to do and offer. The difference is gonna be you can take on even more, and if there's no budget for strings or there's no budget for a full band, you know that you can do it and probably do it on your laptop. So I'm really excited by the future, and I think it's, it's all getting smaller and quicker.